In this series, we show you some Cotswold villages that are so small and remote, they really don't have any shops or stores at all. Just maybe a church and a village pub. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have places like Stowe, which is a bustling center of commerce. Like Broadway, Stowe is a market town that is big and busy. This is Stowe today, but it's fun to imagine Stowe hundreds of years ago in the heyday of Cotswold wool, when up to 20,000 sheep could be sold in a single day at the Stowe market. Now the industries in Stowe are more touristy in nature. Hotels, restaurants, antique shops, gift shops, tea rooms, and art galleries. I do have a soft spot for really Cotswoldy little shops like this one though. Lamb's Wold. Stowe on the Wold is a very popular Cotswold village and there's three things that come to mind for me when I think of Stowe. One is this very famous doorway right over there with the two yew trees on either side of it. The second thing is that this is one of the most commercial of the Cotswold villages. It's a big thriving town center with loads and loads of shopping, eating places, which in the really sleepy little Cotswold villages, you might not find any shops at all. And thirdly, it's at the highest elevation. So that's why I like to refer to it as snow on the wold because I imagine that during the winter it is a very cold and snowy place. You probably won't be here to verify that. The name of the town comes from when a missionary called Edward lived here as a hermit and the place was known as St. Edward's Stowe. Wold is rolling hill, so it's rather a holy place in the hills. St. Edward's Church is well worth visiting. It was first built in the 11th century and features the most famous yew trees and unique little church door in England, with yews that have been there for centuries, creating a magical and popular photo spot that was said to have inspired Tolkien as he was writing about Middle Earth in his Lord of the Rings series. The church displays a mixture of architectural styles from its initial construction a thousand years ago to various expansions, including the tower, which was added in 1447. It is 88 feet tall and has loud, glorious bells, which can be heard for miles. Many features of the church remind us of the wealthy patrons who funded the construction of this and other wool churches in the Cotswolds. I have to tell you the cool story of the thing that happened when we tried to take our photo in front of the famous Stowe doorway this past summer. As we were walking around trying to get the tripod set up to snap our photo, a chap and his colleague walked by. They were planning an upcoming Disney photo shoot at the very doorway that we were standing in, and it just so happened that he was a photographer. Better yet, he was from New Zealand and didn't even know about the Lord of the Rings connection to the door. It was so fun to tell him, but even more fun was to have a proper photographer take our photo for the gram. Listen closely to his Kiwi accent as he snapped the photo. Three, two, one. Three, <laughs> two, one. Love it.
The Crooked House on the west side of the town square was built in approximately 1450. The King's Arms is where Charles I stayed during the English Civil War in 1645. The market cross in the center of the town square reminded merchants to deal honestly and fairly. The narrow alleyways were where animals were led to market. This is one of the chores or alleyways that leads into the market square. There is a theory that these narrow alleyways were used to count livestock as they were brought to the square on market day. Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of. a brand that does not make me want to buy clothing. In fact, it makes me think about the fact I've eaten too much sticky toffee pudding on this trip. Here's Ian getting his ice cream fix. To the ocean, let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves ever-present Rolly's Fudge Pantry and the Cotswold Sweet Company. And of course, the Cotswold Chocolate Company. Darkness starts to fade, feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Only thing better than Cotswold Chocolate is Cotswold Cheese. <laughs> Enjoyed this brief tour of Stowe on the Wold and that you stay tuned for the other Cotswold locations that will be coming soon in this series. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.